so everyone always wants to know, can we use your curds to make burrata? Of course you can. It's just fresh mozzarella, stretched into strings, soaked in heavy cream, and put inside another pouch of fresh mozzarella. So there's no reason you can't make burrata with our curds. This video is gonna show you exactly how to do it. So since you've already gotten a tutorial on how to stretch using the traditional method, that's the same one we're gonna use here. I've already broken up the curds and salted them. Just to speed things up, I'm gonna go ahead and add the 190 degree water like we did before and vigorously stir for 20 seconds. Now it might look like I have a little more curd in the bowl this time and you're right, I do. I'm actually working with our four pound pouch this time just to give me a little more flexibility on stretching the barata. Remember, vigorous stirring. You want to make sure the curds are nice and warmed up before you pour the water off. We want to pour two thirds to three quarters of the water off. I like to use a strainer because I don't like any curds to get away. We'll put those back in. And then we'll add our 190 degree water. We start to vigorously stir again. You'll see immediately the curd starts to stretch. I'm using the same method I did before, going back and forth from the left and the right. It's going to be very hot, so you want to make sure you keep your cold water bowl right next door. And we want to get our good stretch. Again, you'll see it's going from being lumpy and bumpy in consistency to smooth and shiny. Don't be afraid to dip your hand in that cold water bowl. Trust me, it makes it a lot easier to work with the heat. There we go. All right, once we've gotten a couple of nice good stretches in and we see that we've worked out the bulk of the lumps and the bumps, we're ready to start making our burrata. Since I know I'm gonna be working with the curds for quite a while, I'm gonna pour off some of the hot water That'll just make it a little more comfortable to work with. Now you might have noticed that I've taken off my gloves. In the other videos, I always make sure that I stretch with gloves. Um, even though it's a little hot to work with the bare hands, and that's why I'm using my cold water, when I'm doing stracciatella and barata, I find it's a lot easier to work with bare hands. So I'm gonna take a part of the curd mass out, and this time, Instead of shaping it into a ball of mozzarella like I did before, I'm actually gonna take and stretch it out. And if it starts to get tight on you, just drop it back down into the hot water and stretch it out again. Burrata actually comes from a town called Andria, which is in Puglia, the heel of Italy. And in Andria, they're known for a shape called nodini which means not. So, if they don't use all the knots today, they can refrigerate them overnight, but they no longer like the texture. So the next day they can open those back up and peel them apart. You can see here that we're making these strings of mozzarella. Folks ask me all the time, does it matter if they're really thick or if they're super thin? It doesn't, it's up to you. Well, we're gonna actually place those strings right into 
heavy cream, which is a lactose-rich environment. Because these curds are cultured, they'll actually start to eat the lactose that's in the cream and thicken the cream. It's kind of like making a creme fraiche. We always say when we do a lot of stracciatella and burrata that it's like arts and crafts day around here. I'm going to make a little more. So again, stretch that out like a rope. And then peel that apart into the strings. The Caputo brothers like to call it spider webs. <laughs> All righty. So once we've got our strings soaking in the heavy cream, and a little tip is to make sure that your heavy cream is at room temperature, okay? That's helpful for making the barata. If it's too cold, if you're working it right out of the refrigerator, then it makes it a little uh, bit tougher to actually get it into the ball of mozzarella that we're gonna stuff this in. You also want to check at this point for saltiness. This, the cream is very, very sweet, particularly if it's just been, uh, if you've just now introduced the, the um, strings of mozzarella. And so um, you might want to check to see if you want to add a little salt at this point. Okay. Once you've got those strings nice and coated with all the cream, now we're going to go back in and we're going to make another ball of mozzarella. So we're going to gently make a mass, rest that mass between your thumb and first finger, push that mass into that C, squeeze it to the tightest fist you can until you feel the cheese start to break, and then take that and flip it over. So instead of going into the bowl of cold water, we're actually going to want to keep that warm. And we're going to go right around that outer edge and make a thin little lip there. Nice meaty center, and place that meaty center right over the C on that hand. Make sure you've got plenty of cream on your stracciatella, and we're gonna push the stracciatella inside this little pouch here to make the barata. Now, I think if we get close up here, you can see that the pouch is really expanding down the center. And I'm collecting the thin part right there like a little pinch. If it doesn't seal on its own, you can go right back into that hot water upside down. Or if you hold the bottom of it and turn it upside down, we're going to press that closed. And that is your ball of fresh burrata. You slice this open, it's creamy, all the stracciatella strings in there. It's as good as everybody says it is, trust me. And not that hard once you know how to do it. So I'm gonna put this into a little bit of cold water, cool that down just a little bit, and now it's ready to go to the plate for dinner. That's how you make fresh burrata and stracciatella. Good luck and happy stretching.